Today's sew along is for Simplicity 8178. There are a few views offered for this pattern, including a jumpsuit and a jacket. I have chosen Dress C for this sew along. I've sewn this dress once before, and today I'm sewing it up in another viscose fabric. You can find this pattern at your local fabric store. I've also left a link for you below so you can check out all the details, grab a copy, and sew it along with me. So cut out your fabric, mark your notches and your dots, and let's get started. Grab your front bodice piece and we're going to sew our gathering stitches into the top shoulder seam. We're going to do our gathering within the seam line, so you're going to start gathering 5 eighths of an inch away from one edge and stop 5 eighths of an inch away from the other edge. I'm going to be stitching with my longest stitch length with about a half inch seam allowance. And do this for both front bodice pieces. Now place your front pieces right sides together with your back piece matching your shoulder seams. Pin both ends of your shoulder seams together and then start pulling the gathering stitches we just sewed so that the front and back shoulder seams match up perfectly. Once they're the same length, pin in place. Sew with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and then serge the material to finish. And do that for both shoulder seams. Grab your neck facing pieces. On one short end of your neckband pieces, you should have transferred a notch. Place your neck facings right sides together, matching those notches on the short end. And pin in place. Sew with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. Press that seam open and then fold your entire facing strip lengthwise wrong sides together and press in half from end to end. Note that on your facing you should have transferred notches from your pattern piece as well as dots. I've noted my dots here with pins. Now match your facing with the right side of your bodice neckline, matching your notches and placing the dots that you transferred onto the facing at your shoulder seams and pin in place. Continue pinning your facing down the center of the bodice, matching the dot that you transferred onto your neck facing pattern piece with the dot that you transferred onto the bottom of your bodice, and pin in place. Then we're going to sew the entire facing to both center fronts and all around the neckline with a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And then trim that seam allowance by about half. And then you're going to fold that facing over the seam that we just sewed. And with the seam pressed toward the facing, we're going to understitch. So you're going to sew the seam allowance to the facing an eighth of an inch away from the original stitching line all the way around. Fold the facing along the original stitching line and pin in place all the way around. And once you have it pinned all the way around, take it back to your machine and top stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. Place your front and back pieces right sides together and pin or clip your side seams. Sew with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and then serge your seams to finish. Fold your armhole facing right sides together and match your short ends. And pin the short ends in place. Do this for both armhole facings and sew both short ends with a 5 8 inch seam allowance and then press the seams open. Also press both of these facings in half wrong sides together in the same way as we did for the neck facing. Now we're going to attach the armhole binding to the armhole. The process for attaching this binding is the same exact process that we did for the neckband binding. Match the seam of your armhole binding with the underarm seam of your blouse, right sides together and pin in place. Continue pinning the binding to the armhole all the way around matching your notches. Sew the binding to your armhole all the way around with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and repeat for your other armhole. Now we're going to trim the seam and clip the curves of the seam that we just sewed. I'm going to use pinking shears to trim and clip at the same time. And then we're going to understitch the armhole facing, press the facing toward the seam allowance, and then sew this seam allowance to the armhole facing an eighth of an inch away from the original stitching line just as we did for the neckband. And then fold your armhole facing to the inside along the original seam line and top stitch this armhole all the way around with a quarter inch seam allowance. 
Repeat all the same steps to complete your other armhole as well. Lap your right front bodice over your left. With the raw edges even, match the notches of the front bodices. Take it to your machine and baste your front bodices together as pinned. Before I attach my pockets to my skirt, I'm going to do a little bit of serging first. It's going to be easier to serge everything before it's attached to any other piece. Serge your pocket seam as well as the outer curved edge and do this for all four pockets. Also serge the side seam of your front skirt on both sides and do the same for your back skirt. Grab one side of your pocket and make sure that you've transferred your dots from your pattern piece to note where you're going to place the pockets on the skirt. And grab your skirt piece, which should also have placement dots, and place your pocket and your skirt right sides together matching your dots, and pin in place. Sew your pocket to your skirt with a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then press the seam toward the pocket. Do this for both pockets on both sides of the skirt. Attach your remaining pockets to your remaining skirt piece right sides together in the same way. With your pockets opened out flat, place your front and back skirt pieces right sides together. And now we're going to sew our side seams. We're going to start sewing at the top of the skirt to the large dot and then backstitch. And start a new stitch at the next large dot, making sure to backstitch here as well and then continue stitching all the way to the bottom of the skirt. This will allow the center of the pocket to remain open. Repeat the same steps for the other side of your skirt as well. And this time we're sewing the seam with a 5 8 inch seam allowance. And then pin all around your pocket curves. Sew from the top of the pocket all the way around the curve of the pocket to the seam line of the skirt. And do this on both sides of the skirt. Turn the pockets inward, folding them along the seam line and pin them together through one layer of the top of your skirt, aligning your raw edges. Baste your pockets in place at the top, and this side of your skirt will now be considered the front skirt. With your skirt still inside out, grab your bodice, which should be right side out, place it inside the skirt, so that the skirt and the bodice are right sides together. Match up your side seams, your centers, and your notches, and pin in place all the way around the waist. To begin creating our casing, we're going to sew all around the waistline with a 7 8 inch seam allowance. The instructions say to fold the edge of this seam allowance to the inside by a quarter of an inch so that when we sew all the way around in the next step, you have a clean finish. But I've just gone ahead and surged my seam allowance all the way around. And now I'm going to pull my bodice out from the inside. And then you're going to press the seam allowance up toward the bodice and pin all the way around. And now I'm going to take my garment back to my sewing machine and sew all around the waistline once again, sewing the seam allowance to the bodice very close to my serging stitches. And when I get back around to where I started my stitching, I'm going to make sure to leave about a one inch gap for inserting my elastic. Now for your elastic, take your waist measurement and add one inch. Once you have it cut, add a safety pin to one end. And then use the safety pin to draw your elastic through your waistline from your opening all around the waistline until you get back here again. and stitch back and forth to secure the ends of your elastic. Pull the elastic entirely through, and, and then stitch the elastic opening closed following the original seam line. Now the very last step is to hem the bottom of our dress. I've gone ahead and folded the bottom raw edge of my dress to the inside by a quarter of an inch and given it a press, and then I folded it again to the inside by one inch and given that a press all the way around, and now I'm going to edge stitch all along the bottom of the dress close to this inner fold and then I'm done with my dress. Thank you so much for watching this sew along. Make sure you check out my other videos for more great sewing inspiration and I'll see you in the next video.